Man, y'all know what it is. Smash, like, subscribe, comment. I don't care what you comment, as long as you comment. Share this too. I want to speak on the issue of homosexuality because I've been reading some of the comments. Some of you guys are so angry that guys are homosexual. Men shouldn't mess with other men. This, 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 and that. Is it natural for a man to mess with another man? Probably not. But y'all don't say nothing about women messing with other women. I know when I have a threesome, I'm not looking for them to be doing anything with each other. I mean, that's cool because that's what they into, but I'm just trying to have two women at one time. Don't contradict yourself. Don't be a hypocrite. It's okay for women to be homosexual, but it's not okay for men to be homosexual. And I'm not saying that it's okay. I'm just saying this is your perspective. This is your vantage point that you're looking from. And you're saying the things that you're saying. Like I said in the rap, I don't have the game totally figured out, but I know you got to watch the person who pointing for what he pointing about. Meaning, the God is always open. F this, F that. The F word, you know, the homosexual slander. The F this, F that. You gay, you gay. You a homo, you homo. Go look at the research. A lot of you homophobic guys are secretly gay. And some of you even hate that you are secretly gay or bisexual. Y'all hate it. That's why I got to shout out little Nas X, people like that, for sharing their truths. God a lot gave you flesh so you could comprehend his works. So you could know, like, damn, this feels good. The sex feel good. The coffee feel good. The cigarettes feel good. The donuts feel good. The, this, 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 and that are all feel good. That's why I gave you flesh. So you can comprehend the works. So you can appreciate them. So you can appreciate life. That's why he gave you the flesh. That's what us Moors like to believe. That's what I believe. You guys are super homophobic. You scare me a little bit. Why do you hate so much? Why do you care what another man does with his body? That's what he do. It's not what you do, right? So why would you hate it? To me, you secretly are homophobic. To me, you secretly, excuse me, not secretly homophobic, but you secretly gay. You secretly bisexual. That's what that says to me when I see it. Because the guy always told me he's so tough. The guy always told him about him, 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 and snitch. It's the biggest coward ever. The guy that's always talking about he's homosexual is the biggest homosexual ever. But he just closeted it because he cared too much what people think. Like I said, that's why I can me and Nas X for coming out the closet. For telling people who he is. You know the saying? I'd rather people not like me for who I am than love me for who I am not. Be yourself. If you're gay, then you're just gay. Who cares? Is it my body? Is it your body? It's their decision. I know a lot of us was taught to be homophobic and hate gays and stuff like that. But when you become a man, when you become a woman, and you start thinking and you start knowing and you become conscious, you realize that people are people. They just have certain preferences. Who are you to judge them? Is somebody judging you? Even though you might be heterosexual, somebody judge you for the type of shorts you might wear, women, for the type of tie you might wear, for the area that you live in, the people that you associate with. It's always something to judge. It's always somebody looking down on you, thinking they're better than you. Who are you? If Allah only saved those who've been perfected in the sight, then who will be saved? Nobody. Jesus told the story of these reapers one day. And the farm owner told them to go cut every stalk, every grain that is blemished. Then when he came out and he looked, he said, where's my, where's my crops? They said that you said, cut everything that was blemished. That was not unblemished. Cut everything away that was not perfected. And he had nothing left. If God allowed only say those who've been perfected in his sight, then who will be saved? Now, I'm not up here advocating for homosexuality or bisexuality or none of that stuff. I'm not advocating for it. I'm just saying if that's what a person chooses to be, then allow them that. Who are you to judge? You, you, you million, you follower. Who are you? It's something to judge in your life also. You guys 
that are so homophobic, you're gay deep down inside, I believe. Most of you are. Or a, a high percentage of you guys are. Science even says that. Let somebody live their truth. What, 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 what make you want to hate somebody? What make you want to leave homophobic comments? What, what possessed you to do that as a grown man? Have you not grown up yet? Have you not become wise? Have you not seek wisdom? Have you not been endowed with positive and good thought? At any time, people are who they are. I can judge you for smoking weed. I can judge you for sniffing coke. I can judge you for having a bald head. I can judge you for having thick eyebrows. I don't know. I can judge you for everything. Somebody can judge you for anything and everything that you do. Why would you participate in that? If you homosexual, if you like other men, if you like other women, be proud of it. Do you? If you want to keep it closed, to keep it closed. This is what it is. But don't go judge and bash other people for that. That's all I'm saying. Peace and blessing to you all, man.